Hey, it's Trace. Yeah, I'm back. I'm cooking a lot lately. I'm making a chicken and bacon pie with hot water crust pastry, and it occurred to me you're going to want to know how to make this pastry because it's fantastic. Uh, in my big bowl, I have 250 grams. Yes, yeah, sorry, I have to weigh it. Sorry, scales are cheap. That's my oven heat uh, being hot. Uh, okay, so 250 grams of flour in there sitting waiting for me. And then in my little saucepan, I have uh, 56 grams of lard. Yeah, use lard, it matters here. And I have 118 grams of liquid, which in this case is a water milk combo, and then about a teaspoon of salt. So I'm going to heat this till it's completely melted and hot, hot. And then I'll meet you back with the uh, flour and I'm gonna show you how this comes together. It's fantastic. It's super old school. You're gonna to wanna to do this. Okay, I'm back. Here's the flour. Make a little well in the middle. Doesn't really matter. I'm just being all chefy here. And then here's the milk, water, fat, and salt mixture. Just drop it all in. That's where it won't melt. Okay. Give it a whip. Obviously, you don't want to. I always use a spoon handle for this. You don't want to uh, shove your hands in there because, unfortunately, speaking from experience, boiling hot fat on one's hand is entirely unpleasant. It's cool because this stuff feels like Play Doh. It really, there's something very satisfying and weirdly enjoyable about kneading hot fat or hot pastry. Okay, once it sort of. Yeah, I think I'm there. And then look, you sort of pull it together. You can knead this stuff. And it's, it's flaky in sort of a more sturdy way. It's, I really, really like this. I find super flaky pastry a little bit um, dry, weirdly enough. See, I, I don't even know if you're on the, am I even on camera? Oh yeah, I yeah. am, that's pretty good. Sorry, I got a new stand for my phone, so I don't know where it. <clears throat> Look, clean bowl. I know you did it right, like that. A couple of needs. I'm doing a pie today, I'm doing it in a, in a flan dish. This makes, this is the pastry that I use to make my little meat pies. I think I showed pictures of them on the Tracy Cooks in Austin. Oh, my Instagram. I have an Instagram called Tracy in Austin. It's been entirely too much food at the moment. Although, oh, I like you can have too much food. Okay, see that? Look at that beautiful thing. This is best if you do it when it's hot. However, you can absolutely wrap it and put it in the fridge. All right, so let's just say hypothetically, I could, I could divide thing into pieces. That's half. And take that as the lid of the pie. No, that doesn't look like enough. Oh, stop it, okay. Back in the bowl, covered. And what I do is, because I have a cooktop, a ceramic cooktop, I just throw the bowl back on the cooktop and it keeps that pastry a bit warm. Easier to, it's just easier to deal with. Do I wanna, I think I do, hold on. I'm gonna have a little bit of flour in here, just a little. Okay, that works. My dowel rolling pin, everybody needs to go make one. So, when you're, uh, I'm not a very good, I'm not a pastry person, I'm not a pastry exit, e expert. However, make sure that you have a lot of or flour down, that way every time you roll it and it, it has flour underneath it, it, it can sort of shrink back in. That way when you bake it, it won't shrink as much because it's already done its shrinking thing. See? I like this a little bit thinner than, than most. So you can make this ahead. It, it, roll, it works better right from when it's hot. However, you absolutely can. Just put it in the fridge and then take it out. I don't know. Take it out a while before you, uh, you're gonna use it. And let it come back to room temperature. I had an epiphany that maybe you could nuke it. 
I have not tried that yet. Just saying. Watch this space. See, that looks pretty good, I think. It's not too, too thick. It's not too, too thin. I think it needs to be a little bit bigger. I'm going to show you a trick that's going to change your life. Watch this. So this is the pan that I'm going to cook the pie in. Okay, there we go. So you just take this. Instead of trying to move that, you can see it. So if you put that underneath, you can see it. <clears throat> well, make sure you have enough to go up the sides. <laughs> Look at, seriously, is that not brilliant? Yeah, I know, right? It's these little things. And the nice thing is that as you unpack it, okay, you're not, you're not stretching the dough at all, which of course is the one fatal faux pas. And there's zero risk of it breaking, right? If you learn nothing else from my videos, that was the epiphany moment. I know, right? I'm pretty tricky considering I'm always looking for the shortest possible way to do things. Okay, here we go. Okay. That, my friends, I'm going to leave this hanging because I'm going to put the pie in. Um, I'm going to put, the, actually, you know what? Why don't we just... No, I have to do a different video, sorry. Okay, so that's the pastry, that's it lined. Um, you can blind bake this, fill it with whatever you want, bake it, it can be sweet, it can be savory, it can be anything. That is your hot water crust pastry, go make it.